This video is brought to you by Factory Direct Trains. Visit FactoryDirectTrains.com and check out their wide selection of model railroading products and supplies. Hey everybody, it's Jimmy from the DIY and Digital and I've got the rules for the 5,000 subscriber contest plus an Arduino kit review. Welcome back everybody. First of all, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you're eligible for the 5,000 subscriber contest sponsored by Factory Direct Trains. They were nice enough to give me two locomotives to give away as a thank you to you guys. One in HO scale and one in N scale and you do have to be a subscriber to be eligible to win one of those locomotives. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and while you're at it, go ahead and hit that like button and hit that bell icon. It'd be really nice of you. Okay, so let's get on down to the rules of the 5,000 subscriber contest. I know a lot of you have been waiting for this. So for one entry, if you've done a lot of my contests in the past, you know what this is gonna be. Simply comment on this video. This video only, one entry. So for two entries, we're gonna have one comment that is a question or something that you would like to see in the future on this channel. So that's worth two entries. So let's go over that again. A comment is worth one entry. And if that comment is either a question or something you would like to see in the future on this channel, that's worth two entries. Okay, so that is pretty much the easy way to get two entries. Now to get the remaining three entries to get you all the way up to five entries, it gets a little bit more complicated. So basically what I'm going to do here is I want you to make a video promoting this 5,000 subscriber contest to your subscribers to other people in this community. We're all trying to make this model railroad community grow and I'm trying to be a part of that here and I also want to help you guys out a little bit with video technique and everything. As many of you know, I'm also a pro videographer at my day job. So what we're gonna do is a video at all is worth another entry. So if you make a video promoting it at all, it's going to be another entry into the contest. And if you put your face on camera, that's worth two entries into the contest. And if you do all that and you put the camera on a tripod like it is right now, that's gonna be a third entry to the contest. So that video is worth one, two, or three points. So if you do um, a video at all, it's worth one point. If you put the camera on a tripod, that's the second point. And if you put your face on camera, that's worth three points. Now that sounds like a little bit of a weird way to do entries. So the reason that I'm doing that is I like to teach techniques for videography in addition to the model railroading that I do. And these are a couple of proven techniques that are just really basic that you don't need to buy any equipment for that can get you better at making videos. Using a tripod to stabilize your video and putting yourself on camera and getting used to being on camera. These can help you out, especially if you're trying to grow your channel. So this is why you don't have to do them to be entries, but they're worth more if you are. So if you're not comfortable being on camera, that's totally fine. You don't have to do that. But if you do want all five of those entry points, you do have to do that. So let's go ahead and go through the rules already one more time. So a comment on this video is worth one entry. A comment with a question or what you'd like to see on this channel in the future is worth two entries. So you can do one or the other on those. You can't do both. So I'm only gonna count one comment. So then we get into the video. If you make a video at all promoting this 5,000 subscriber contest, that's worth another entry. If that video has your face in it, that's worth another entry. And if that video has a camera on the tripod stabilized like you're seeing right now, that's worth another entry. So that video is potentially worth three entries, which gives you a total of five entries with the comments and the video. One last thing, make sure that you designate which engine you would like to be entered to win. I am giving away an N-scale and an HO scale locomotive, and I want to make sure that if you do win, you win the locomotive that is appropriate for your layout. So make sure you say N or HO scale on your entry, whether it's a comment or a video or both. So that's how you enter the contest. So good luck, everybody. I can't wait to see all of your videos, all your comments, all your questions. It's gonna be an absolute blast. And remember the goal of this is just to give a thank you to you guys for this massive amount of growth. We'll be doing the drawing shortly after I hit 5,000 subscribers, which I'm about 500 away at this point, a little over 500 away. 
So that's going to be coming up and I'll be announcing when that officially will happen once I hit the 5,000 subscriber mark. And also remember, if you do make a video, you're going to want to put a link to that video in a comment below, or you can also email me at diyanddigitalrr at gmail.com. And that email is in the description below. So good luck everybody. That's how you enter the 5,000 subscriber contest. I know that that was a lot. So let's go ahead and get into this Arduino Mega Review. CC was nice enough to send me an Arduino Mega Starter Kit Review. And it's got a lot of stuff in it, so let's go ahead and jump into that. Now this kit comes absolutely jam-packed full of stuff, and it has a very nice case. I like the case. I'm definitely going to be using this case for other parts and odds and ends and stuff. So let's go ahead and open it up. Now, full disclosure, I have already opened this up and taken a look through it and opened up everything. But here is a full list of everything that comes with it, including its own power supply. We're going to start by plugging in the Arduino Mega with the included power supply and making sure that it turns on and it does. Now one cool thing about this kit is it comes with a separate power supply for 5 volts and 3.3 volts so you don't necessarily have to draw all your power from the Arduino Mega. So we're going to use this power supply just to test some of the sensors and make sure they turn on. And I'm just going to go through a bunch of the different sensors and try them out and make sure they come on. And last but not least I'm going to load one of the most basic programs in Arduino, the Arduino Blink, and make sure that it works. And sure enough, it works. If you want to purchase this kit, I've got a link in the description below. It's the Arduino Mega Kit from CC. So overall, this is a fantastic kit. It's got a lot of stuff in it. It has so much stuff you can use, not just for model railroading, but all sorts of Arduino projects. It is a little bit difficult if you've never used Arduino before. It doesn't have the greatest instructions in the world and it's really for someone who already has a grasp of Arduino that's looking to step up to the mega and for that reason I am going to give it I'm going to start a rating system for these I'm giving it four and a half out of five stars it's got a ton of stuff and it makes it a ton of fun but if your first if this is you just starting out in Arduino I would get a simpler kit but if you've been doing Arduino and you want to step up to the mega and you want to really be able to sink your teeth in immediately, this is a fantastic kit. So that's it for this week, guys. I hope you enjoyed the Arduino kit review and good luck with the 5,000 subscriber contest. I can't wait to see some of your entries. If you haven't already, go and hit that subscribe button so that you're eligible for the 5,000 subscriber contest. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that like button and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any updates, including when I hit that 5,000 and I do the drawing. Until next time, I'm Jimmy from the DIY and Digital. Happy railroading.